Hello friends, welcome to the world of project management and for an overview session on project integration management process that is closed project interface. Motto of this training is to share my experience in preparing for PMP certification and have prepared few slides. Let's quickly move to our agenda for this session that we are going to discuss on what is closed project interface process and its attitudes in more detail that is inputs, tools and techniques and outputs. Let me start. It is the seventh and last process in the project integration management and it is defined as the closed project or phase is a process of finalizing all the activities for the project, phase or contract. Okay, hope you understood its definition. And the key benefit of this process are the project or phase information is archived, the planned work is completed and the organizational team resources are released to pursue the new endeavors. This is the main key benefit of this process. Okay, hope you understood it about its definition and the key benefit. Let's move to the attitudes of this process. In inputs, we have the project charter, project management plan, which contains all the components of it. And we have the project documents, which contains the assumption log, basis of estimates, change log, issue log, lessons learned registered, milestones list, project communications, quality control measurements, quality reports, requirements documentation, risk registered and risk report. And in inputs, we have the accepted deliverables, business documents, which contains a business case and benefits management plan. We have agreements, we have procurement documentation, and last we have organizational process assets. And coming to the tools and techniques, we have the expert judgment, the data analysis, which contains the uh, document analysis, regression analysis, trend analysis and various analysis and also we have meetings. And coming to the outputs, we have the project document updates which contains the lessons learned registered. We have final product service or result transition. We have final report and last we have organizational process assets updates. This is just an overview of all the ITTOs. Let's discuss its inputs first in more detail. Let's start with first input that is project charter. As I explained in my previous sessions also, the project charter documents the project success criteria, the approval requirements and who will sign off on the project. Okay, hope you understood what is written in the project charter. And moving to the next input, we have project management plan which contains all the components of it. That is all components of the project management plan are an input to this process okay hope you understood it and coming to the next input we have the project documents as i said which contains the assumption log basis of estimates change log issue log lessons learned registered milestones list project communications quality control measurements quality reports requirements documentation risk registered and risk report let me explain one by one in detail first with assumption log this input, the assumption log, has a record of all the assumptions and constraints that guided the technical specifications, estimates, schedule, and risk, etc. Okay, coming to the basis of estimates. This input, the basis of estimates, is mainly used to evaluate how the estimation of durations, cost, resources, and cost control compared to the actual results. Okay, hope you understood it. Coming to the change log. This input, the change log, contains the status of all the change requests throughout the project or phase. Okay, coming to the issue log. This input, the issue log, is used to check there is no open issues. Okay, moving to the lessons learned register. The lessons learned in the phase or project will be finalized before being entered into the lessons learned repository. Okay. Coming to the milestones list, the input, the milestones list shows the final dates on which the project milestones have been accomplished. Coming to project document, project communications, the input, the project communications include any and all the communications that have been created throughout the project. Okay, coming to the quality control measurements. Quality control measurements document the result of control quality activities and demonstrate the compliance with the quality requirements. Okay, 
coming to quality reports. The input the quality reports, the information presented in the quality report may include all the quality assurance issues managed or escalated by the team or the recommendations for improvement or the summary of findings from the control quality process. Okay. Hope you understood the quality reports moving to the requirements documentation. Mainly this requirement documentation is used to demonstrate the compliance with the project scope. Okay, coming to the risk register. The risk register provides the information on risk that have been occurred throughout the project. Okay, coming to the risk report. The risk report provides the information on the risk status and is used to check that there are no open risk at the end of the project. Okay, hope you understood about this input the project documents let's move to the next input we have accepted deliverables mainly these accepted deliverables includes the approved product specifications delivery receipts and work performance documents okay and coming to the next input we have business documents which contains a business case benefits management plan let me explain one by one first with the business case the business case documents the business need and the cost benefit analysis that justify the project. Okay. And coming to the benefits management plan. This benefit management plan outlines the target benefits of the project. Okay. Hope you understood about the business documents. Let's move to the next input. We have agreements. Mainly the requirements for formal procurement closure are usually defined in the terms and conditions of the contract and are included in the procurement management plan. Okay. Hope you understood about the agreements. Let's move to the next input. We have procurement documentation. Okay. To close the contract, all the procurement documentation is collected, indexed and filed. And the information on the contract schedule, scope, quality and cost performance along with all the contract change documentation, payment records and inspection results are catalogued. Okay, this is about the procurement documentation. Okay, hope you understood about this input. Let's move to the next input. We have organizational process assets that includes the project or phase closure guidelines or requirements are the configuration management knowledge based that contains the variations the versions and the baselines of all the official organizing organizational policies, standards, procedures, and any other the project documents. Okay, this is about the organizational process assets input. Fine. Hope you understood about all the inputs of the close project or phase process. Let's move to the tools and techniques. First, with the expert judgment. As I said in my previous sessions, also expertised should be considered here from individuals or groups with some specialized knowledge or training in few of the areas such as the expertise should have knowledge on the management control or audit or legal or procurement and legislation and regulations regulations okay hope you understood about this technique expert judgment let's move to the next technique we have data analysis which contains the document analysis regression analysis trend analysis and variance analysis let me explain one by one first with document analysis in this technique assessing the available documentation will allow identifying the lessons learned and knowledge sharing for the future projects and the organizational assets improvement okay coming to the regression analysis this technique mainly analyzes the interrelationships between the different project variables that contributed to the project outcomes to improve the performance on the future projects. Okay, coming to the trend analysis. This technique, the trend analysis can be used to validate the models used in the organization and also to implement the adjustments for the future projects. Okay, coming to the variance analysis. This variance analysis technique can be used to improve the metrics of the organization by comparing what was initially planned and the end result. Okay, hope you understood about this technique of close project or phase. Let's move to the next technique. We have meetings. This technique meetings are mainly used to confirm that the deliverables have been accepted 
or to validate the exit criteria have been met or to formalize the completion of the contracts or to evaluate the satisfaction of the stakeholders or to gather the lessons learned or to transfer the knowledge and information from the project and to celebrate the success okay hope you understood about this meetings technique here we have completed all the tools and techniques also for the close project or phase process okay so let's move to the outputs in outputs first we have the project document updates which contains the lessons learned register in this output all the project documents may be updated and marked as final version as a result of the project closure okay hope you understood about this output let's move to the next output we have final product service or result transition in this a product service or result once delivered by the project may be handed over to the different group or organization that will operate maintain and support it throughout the life cycle okay hope you understood about it output also about this output also let's move to the next output we have final reports what are final reports here the final reports provides a summary of the project performance and it can include the information such as the summary level description of the project or phase the scope objectives the criteria used to evaluate the scope and evidence that the completion criteria are met or it can include the quality objectives that the criteria used to evaluate the project and product quality and the verification and the actual milestone delivery dates and reasons for variances and it can also include the cost objectives that includes the accepted cost range actual cost and reasons for any variances or it can include the summary of the validation information for the final product service or result or it can include the schedule objectives including whether the results achieved the benefits that the project was undertaken to address or it can include the summary of how the final product service or result achieved that the business needs added to identify in the business plan or finally it can include the summary of any risk or issues encountered on the project and how they were addressed so all this information are included in this final report okay hope you understood about this output also let's move to the next output we have organizational process assets which can updates which contains the project documents operational and support documents project or phase closure documents and lessons learned repository okay let me explain one by one first with project documents in this output the documentation resulting from the project activities project documents in this the documentation resulting from the project activities that is for example the project management plan the scope cost schedule and the project calendars are the change management documentation so these are all the project documents coming to operational and support documents in this the documents required for an organization to maintain operate and support the product or service delivered by the project these are the operational and support documents coming to the project or phase closure documents in this the project or phase closure documents consisting of the formal documentation that indicates the completion of the project or phase and the transfer of the completed project or phase deliverables to others such as the operations group are transferred to the next phase okay this is about the project or phase closure documents coming to the lessons learned repository in this the lessons learned and the knowledge gained throughout the project are transferred to the lessons learned repository for use by the future projects fine okay we have completed all the attitudes that is inputs tools and techniques and outputs of the close project or phase okay before closing this session and also on the integration management knowledge area we have to make a note of some important points on this knowledge area that is integration management is the only knowledge area that has processes occurring in all the process groups that is throughout the project management process and the project charter provides the project manager with authority to apply the resources to the project activities and the scope schedule and the cost baselines are used for and value management and the last key point is the projects may include a change control board that is cc okay 
and also when making any changes the project manager should follow some few steps that is evaluate the impact create the optional solutions approve the change request internally and ensure the customer buy in if required and the project close phase does not include the acceptance of deliverables and those are verified and accepted in the valid scope process okay these are the steps that the project manager should follow when doing some changes okay so this completes our seventh and last process session on the project integration management knowledge area and I hope this complete session is easy and understandable fine let's discuss more detail on the next process or in the knowledge area in the next video kindly provide your feedback on the given email id and subscribe my channel if you like this video bye for now it's your anil kumar dharam